Um, let me brush my eyebrows. Okay. So, my hair looks great these days, so I figured I'd do a hair care routine. Um, and the reason my hair looks good these days is because I put henna on my hair a few days, a few weeks ago. Hi everyone, my name is Ra Oang. Today I'm going to share with you my hair care routine. Um, so, it's minimal waste. As natural as it gets, uh, it's not perfect, but it's good, and I like the results that I'm seeing. So, um, in the past, I've been trying to only use natural shampoo or natural soap on my hair. So I was using, um, I don't know the name in English, but it's Ghar Soap. Uh, and I tried it for a very long time, and I let my friends try it to see if it's just my hair like not reacting well to it, or if it's something that I'm doing. Anyways, like all of us, like it did not work for the hair and it leaves our hair waxy, which end up looking oily, but it's waxy and it feels weird. I kept trying it for months, hoping my hair would adapt, but it didn't. Um, so I finally gave up. <laughs> um, and I found an alternative that works a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna be talking to. I just wanted to explain like that I've, I've tried like the natural route, and I, and I even asked my grandma like, what did you guys used to use back then? And I tried what they used to use that I could find, uh, which is uh, sidr. Again, I don't know the name in English. So I tried sidr. The thing with sidr, like it's great if you have short hair, it will be easy to get out of your hair. But otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to get out of your hair and it's not something sustainable that you can do on a weekly basis. Uh, and the second thing with Siddhar is that it really dries your hair. Like really dries your hair. So that would not work for me either because I already have dry hair and my hair naturally is like pshht. I remember in school like people like thought I like straightened my hair every single day but I didn't. Um, I was just natural like that. Look, and my sisters, all my sisters are the same way. Uh, and then I remember in high school, my friend told me that if I st stop brushing my hair, it will be like kind of wavy. And I did, and it actually worked. So that's why my hair now is... I mean, today it's like pretty flat because in uh, Riyadh it's really dry. And I washed my hair today with shampoo, so that dries out my hair a little bit more, so it looks really flat. Um, but yeah, if you have straight hair and you don't want that, just stop brushing your hair and it will kind of like have a wave to it, especially in humid weather. Anyway, so let's get into it. So what do I do? Um, first thing that I do that I highly, highly recommend that changes my hair completely is henna. Um, I use natural henna. We get, I get it from my grandma and my grandma either gets it from my aunt that grows it in her garden or like from friends or family members. But I know you can find it online. Like you can find natural henna online. Uh, if, I, <laughs> if I was business minded, I would like start selling henna. But I'm not, so <laughs> yeah. But yeah, maybe maybe one day, maybe one day I'll try to be a little bit business minded and start a henna company. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I do. I put henna maybe like four times a year. I try to put it more often, but it's a struggle to like get out of your hair. And then I add some tea with some cinnamon. Give it a nice smell and uh, color. I don't mind the smell of henna, but a lot of people do. And the uh, tea has to be cooled for some reason. Don't ask me why. Mother's instructions. Wow. And then you mix it until it's kind of like a pancake batter, but a little bit thicker. And then you beg someone to put it on your hair. I put it on my hair for like at least four hours. I usually put it and then go to sleep and then wash it when I first wake up. I find, I find this works better. Um, but then get, taking it out of your hair takes a while. But a tip, if you put henna on your hair, just remove the ends first and then slowly work your way up. It will be a lot easier to get out of your hair. So that's number one. 
Henna also dries your hair, so what I do about after a week of putting henna on my hair, I would do an oil treatment for my hair. Uh, I usually use coconut oil or olive oil or argan oil or black cumin seed oil, really whatever I have on hand. My favorite would be coconut oil because it smells good. I hate the smell of olive oil, so I use coconut. But coconut doesn't work for everyone. Like it doesn't work for my sisters and my mom, so I don't know. What do I use for shampoo and conditioner? I don't use conditioner really because my hair is pretty flat already uh, and I oil it every month or every month and a half so that works as a conditioner for me. Uh, for shampoo, I gave in and I started using Lush's uh, shampoo bars. They work great for me and they're zero waste because like they're not packaged uh, and you buy however quantity you need. And the thing with them is that they have SLS um, so I did my research on SLS and it turns out that it's not a known carcinogen and it's um, it's harmful, like it's an irritant, but it's not a carcinogen. So it's not as bad as I thought it was, uh, but still like I would rather not use SLS on my body or my hair. Um, but I feel like for the hair maybe it's like not as bad uh, compared to like toothpaste uh, because like you're putting that inside your mouth and I feel like the mouth is more, I don't, I don't know. Okay, getting out of the subject. So back to the subject. Uh, so yeah, I shampoo my hair about twice a week. I don't really keep track. Whenever I feel like my hair needs a wash, I wash it with shampoo. Uh, but I do wash my hair at least once a day with water because I'm pretty active. So I do wash it with water every day to get like every, like just like to rinse it out and stuff. Uh, what else do I do? And that's it, that's it. That's what I do for my hair. So now let's talk about hair loss. Number one cause of hair loss, in my opinion, would be weight loss. So usually, one of the symptoms of hair loss of weight loss is hair loss. God, that is so many losses. Um, but yeah, so usually if you lose a lot of weight in a short period of time, you're gonna notice that your hair is gonna fall too. But it's just a temporary hair loss. So. Um, the way to prevent this is to eat as healthy as possible. So if you're if you want to lose weight, try to make the best out of the food that you make and make it as nutritious as possible uh, to avoid hair loss. Eat lots of vegetables, legumes, uh, leafy greens, stuff like that, and hopefully that would lessen the hair loss. But it's only temporary, so eventually your hair gonna is going to grow back. So the second reason for hair loss is iron deficiency. There's two types of iron, heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron comes from animal products and yes, it is easier to absorb, but it's also harmful uh, because it's been related to causing heart disease, uh, type 2 diabetes, um, cancer, and metabolic syndrome. I'm gonna link the study in the description box and you can look at it uh, for yourself and like see why it's directly re related to these diseases. Uh, the second type of iron is the non-heme iron, which is a little bit harder to absorb, but once you've been plant-based for a while, uh, your body is going to adapt to absorbing that more. Um, and linking, like combining it with vitamin C is known to increase the absorption, uh, but it's not harmful for your body whatsoever. So that's great. Uh, foods that are high in iron include like uh, legumes, dark leafy greens, dried fruits, nuts and seeds, uh, stuff like that. The third thing that can cause uh, brittle hair or hair loss, more, I would say more like brittle hair, um, is a zinc deficiency. But the study isn't, um, like there isn't enough studies yet to, to prove that, but it's just like, an, I just thought I would throw that in. Uh, the study is also in the description box. So the last thing that could ruin your hair is hard water. So if you've moved to a new house or if you move to a new area or you're traveling uh, and the water is hard there, um, you might notice that your hair is just like ruined. Uh, so that could cause cause your hair to, yeah, suffer. Um, the solution for this, I don't know, like you might have to like insult a filter or something just like to, for the, on the shower, but I don't know, I feel like that's kind of extreme. Uh, let me know your thoughts, and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Every day she sees a light Fade away and pass her by What
Can she do? 